city is making about a billion dollars a year in the Middle East, and they're looking for more profits in Iraq. The company is expanding operations in that country. Bloomberg's Lara Satrakian joins us from Dubai. Uh, Lara, what's making them expand into Iraq right now? Well, Margaret, this is the moment where the oil wealth in Iraq really starts to flow. They're inching just above 2 million barrels per day. And for an economy that's been frozen by sanctions and war for decades, they're now looking at double-digit growth, looking at massive spending plans. So far, they've pulled in just about $27 billion in oil revenues just in the first four months of this year. They're looking to spend it on housing, infrastructure, trade, and all of that is going to take a more developed financial system. Now, a number of players on Wall Street not just city taking a close look at Iraq. We spoke to Northern Gulf Partners. They're a firm that specializes in Iraq investment, and they say that there's been some hedge fund activity from some pretty big players from Paulson and Co., Eaton and Par Eaton Park, and Elliott Associates. They say that it's an open secret now that Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, have been coming through Iraq, taking a look at some of the opportunities there. And that led me to ask one firm that also advises investors here in from Dubai, really whether this country that is still so dangerous is becoming a safe bet for investors. I think it is a much safer bet than it was uh, just one or two years ago, and I think that it's the inevitable bet. It's a bet that has to be made if you're looking uh, to ride on probably the last major frontier, especially in the oil and gas sector, but also in the financial services sector. Now, City getting in early, but they don't have the absolute first mover advantage. Analysts telling us that the smart early move came from HSBC back in 2005. They took a 75% stake in a local bank, Dar al Islam. That gave them an advantage also for being in Baghdad. That gives you a huge leg up in dealing with Iraqi officials who are steering Iraqi business. They want to see people go and base themselves in country. Of course, that means that you have to brave what are still war zone conditions. Violence has come down dramatically, Margaret. But even even just yesterday, a deadly attack killed a number of Iraqis and their European partners. So still tremendous risk and some uncertainty around when U.S. troops will leave the, to the very last man. And that's raising fears of a potential security vacuum. Seasonally, summer tends to be a more violent period. So a lot of questions here, but again, people taking a closer look. Margaret? All right. Lars Atrakian, interesting story there.